Hey guys, Brett and I, Millimeter USA here, and this is going to be a review of the Walther PPKS N380. We shot about 250 rounds of Sig Sauer's Elite Performance Ammunition during this test, and we did have a couple of malfunctions. We will go over those malfunctions during the shooting part of the video. Overall, though, I think young Brett and I were pretty impressed with this little 380. Alright guys, the new production Walther PPKS. We're plus one right here. Safety off. Double action first round. Failure to feed. Second mag with the pinky extension. One malfunction so far. Today's video is sponsored by Core Essentials. Core Essentials makes one of the best gun belts on the market today. I've been using their gun belt products since 2016. I thoroughly believe in their belt products and that's why we are excited to work with them now. I'm currently using the new tactical reinforced nylon belt from Core Essentials. The nylon webbing outer layer is rated up to 500 pounds. It is a very strong belt. The reinforced power core center and super fiber inner lining make this unique belt durable and stiff enough to support small to medium to even larger handguns. The belt itself is rated up to 8 pounds maximum. Of course I am exceeding that with my duty belt set up here. This is what the belt looks like while wearing my duty belt over top of it. And guys here's the core belt being used inside of a full duty belt. So it's strong enough to support that. It's definitely strong enough to support your CCW firearm. So now let's cover the belts and go over the system and the buckles themselves. All of Core's belts are 800% more adjustable than your old traditional belts. These track line belts have over 40 sizing positions to choose from. You just pull the extra belt material through the buckle and you get that precise fit. You can press the belt buckles quick release tab to loosen the belt. These features make it very easy to find that perfect fit no matter what your size. The adjustments in the belt's track is made every quarter of an inch making it very versatile indeed. The track is hidden when you wear the belt and the track is nearly indestructible. We do not see any wear on the track belts that we have been using for over a year. The belt secured the buckle using the teeth clamps and two set screws. You've got classic style buckle designs here that do not scream tactical belt because no one needs to know you're carrying a concealed weapon. Core Essentials offers a 30 day money back guarantee and a one year warranty on their products. My current setup is running the X4 stainless steel buckle and a tactical reinforced gun belt. The whole package goes for a little bit less than $63 after you use the discount code B9USA. That's a real value and a good product that I have tested over time and I highly recommend it to you guys. I will be buying several more belts coming up and giving them away as gifts, be it for a birthday or for Christmas season. So here's the two different color belts that are available from Core Essentials as far as taking your gun on or off as a concealed carry person. Right underneath here is the release. And it's that easy. Very strong belt. Putting it back on. And this excellent leather holster right here. And that's right guys, I've switched over to the Dan Wesson for a concealed carry handgun. Feed it through the belt buckle, and then just grab it from this end here, and pull. And you're good to go. There is no slag in this belt, it holds it really tight to your hip right here. As you can see it sucks this 1911 up right up against my hip. This is not a light overall package right here, and the belt does an excellent job. If you do place your order, guys, make sure you use the B9USA discount code and save 10% off your entire order. Now on to the review. Alright guys, let's go over the features of the Walther PBKS. First, what I wanted to cover was these high quality magazines that come with this pistol stock out of box. Comes with two magazines. This one has a pinky extension. They're both seven round mags. Very nice high quality magazine. And the other mag here is the flush fitting seven rounder seen here. When the magazine is full you'll see your seventh round right here. And then you have all your witness holes on the side of the mag over here. 
This pistol has a very nicely checkered magazine release button right here. Very nice, very high quality. Looks really good. The frame itself does have some beveling. A slight bevel to the magwell for easier magazine insertion into the gun. This pistol does have an extremely high quality forged stainless steel frame, so that's good to mention. Very minimal recoil. All right, again, double action first round, flush fitting magazine one hand this time. I think it's probably just break in, you know, with the finicky 380s. <laughs> All right, double action first round. Hundred percent, that time. One thing to keep in mind on this, guys, is it has a 3.3 inch fixed barrel on it. It is a blowback design pistol. And what that means is if you come into contact with something, the chances of you pushing it out of battery are very slim to none. You can tell there's no movement of the slide if you make contact. You can still pull the trigger. A lot of common semi-autos, you can push the slide back so far that it pushes it out of battery. Notice on this, the barrel is still in place. It does not move because it is a fixed barrel design. That's one of the cool features about this pistol. As well as on Walther's new modern day pistol, the CCP M2. And again, double action first round. Flush fitting base plate magazine as if you're going to carry it. Backup mag. Okay, we'll show you what the other magazine looks like in the pistol here. And one thing to keep in mind is this Walther PPKS comes in at a fairly light 23.6 ounces. There are no MIM or cast parts here again. A top quality handgun from Walther. All right, guys, I'm going to go over the slide here on the Walther PBKS. Let's first go over the finish. The overall finish on this pistol actually is a polished stainless. That's the sides on it. And the frame itself is entirely polished stainless. The part that is not going to be polished stainless is going to be the top of the slide, where you have a matte style stainless finish up here, pretty much anti-glare entirely. And then, of course, the top of the slide, you have these wavy serrations to reduce glare. You've also got an external extractor. The round of the nose is down right there. Okay, now it's straightened up. Out of the Neo Mag. It's a good little shooter. Let's get it past its uh, couple of hiccups here. I enjoy shooting it. It's very well made, all forged parts right here. And it absorbs the recoil very well. Yep.
fun to shoot, man. Yeah. It's a very well-made little pistol. I have not been a 380 fan. This may change my mind. Further elaborating here on the slide, you've only got rear serrations to be able to rack the pistol. With the magazine in the pistol, when the pistol is empty, you will get slide lock because there is an internal slide lock in this pistol. There is no external, so you can't drop the slide other than racking the pistol. Right here, you've got a decocker. This is your safety. So when you decock the pistol, if you've racked around the chamber, you're going to decock, puts you into safe mode. You're in safe mode right here with a dead trigger until you flip it back up to fire. Now you're in full double action. That will be your first round, and the pistol will transition via the slide, reciprocating into single action like so. So you can put it into safe right here. You can also put it when it's in full double action as far as the trigger into safe from here. And then again, dead trigger right here until you're up to fire. This is a proven design on this pistol. This pistol has been out since 1930. The James Bond gun. <laughs> here we go, double action first round. It seems to have gotten through its couple of hiccups. Yeah, it has. Nice. We may have a shooter on our hands, guys. I sure hope so. I like it. All right, guys, we're shooting at Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition, 100 grain, 380, traveling at 910 feet per second and 184 foot-pounds of energy. So it does appear that the Walther PPKS is starting to really like that Sig ammo. Let's continue shooting it. Two more things to point out on the Walter PPKS slide. You've got a loaded chamber indicator back here, which you can see through the hammer itself. So that little piece back here will stick out through the end of the slide. You've also got a red two-dot sight picture that you just stack, so a red dot in the front and a red dot in the rear. The sights themselves are low-profile sights. They're machined into the slide, so they are not replaceable. All right, so we already talked about the recoil system on this Walther PPKS being a straight blowback design. It also has quite minimal recoil for a 380. One of the reasons why, of course, is the little bit of the added weight. You've got a little bit of a pistol right here that you can kind of enjoy hanging on to. My pinky does slide off the end unless it's got the other magazine in it. If I stick that magazine in, I can actually get all my fingers on there. And I do wear a large size glove, so... If you have a relatively large hand, yes, you can get your whole hand on there with that particular magazine. Like I said before, the uh, recoil on it overall is quite minimal compared to all the other 380s that I've fired. And this one ahead of those had less malfunctions. I think the malfunctions we had with this pistol are just straight up break-in type malfunctions. I bet this one will get to the point where it will run 100%. If you didn't like it for its weight or its ease of carry, definitely the nostalgia of the pistol itself, how many movies it's been in, and its overall history may be something you're interested in. Brett Senior, what rounds do you recommend to carry in this pistol? We shot a lot of Sig Sauer ammo through it. It seemed to run the best on the V-Crown ammunition. So if I was going to run Sig ammo through it, it would be the V-Crown. And then it also seemed to run okay on the Corbon ammo. So you can try it with either one. I think those are both pretty effective rounds in the 380 caliber offering. Let's talk about the trigger real quick guys. Let's jump to that. As far as this pistol is concerned, the double action right here, it is kind of heavy and it does kind of hit you from the very beginning. It's not consistent through its pull. I find that once you break it at the beginning, it just kind of snaps all the way back. And maybe you can kind of see that. I'll try to slow it down right there and then it just kind of snaps. So it's not bad, it is heavy. It's gonna tell you if you're carrying this for a CCW handgun that do you really wanna pull the trigger? And if you do, you've gotta pull through that heavy trigger pull on the double action. Once you've done that, 
it'll cycle it'll go back to single action right here and it is really easy just really great and single action and here's the reset again not very audible that was it right there and you're at reset so the reset is amazingly quick but it does not let you know from sound or really from feeling this is going to be a pistol you're going to practice with and know that you only have to let it go a little bit and then come back and the bottom line is guys considering this pistol came out in 1930 the design and you know 32 acp and stuff like that who cares that it doesn't have a you know super audible reset it is what it is you know the nostalgia alone and it's super fast and positive it doesn't matter i knew every time i pulled the trigger that i only had to let it up a little bit and then go right back to it it's quite fantastic if you just shoot it like that. All right, guys, let's see if it runs better on the SIG V-Crown ammunition here. I totally butchered that first round. <laughs> Second mag of V-Crown. We'll go double action again. Try not to butcher it this time. Here's a SIG V-Crown ammunition is running better than the FMJ stuff. You know, just a little bit more power behind the round. I was wondering about that. All right, I'll try that too. So here's the numbers on the V-Crown ammo from SIG in 380. It's traveling at 980 feet per second, 192 foot-pounds of energy. Let's see if it continues to run perfect in this Walther PPKS. Seems to like this better. You can tell it's got a little more power behind it. It's traveling a little faster. And the Walther PPKS seems to prefer the V-Crown ammo in 380. All right, guys, back to the tabletop. So one more thing to mention, guys, on the Walther PPKS is it does come standard with the Walther Legendary Lifetime Warranty, which definitely is worth something. We've had to replace one Walther pistol in the last seven years of the channel. They definitely stand behind their product, and they did replace that handgun. So I've got nothing bad to say about them at all. Great warranty department. So that's it, guys. In closing, we highly recommend this pistol, especially for a concealed carry gun. We are happy with its overall quality and performance of this Walther through PPKS and if you're interested in anything like this I don't think I would hesitate to pick it up and take it to the range. I think overall it's an outstanding shooter and I did enjoy shooting it better than my other 380s. I think the added weight and quality here did make it a more enjoyable pistol. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you're interested in this Walther PPKS or anything else available from Walther Firearms go ahead and check out their products on their website. As always everyone thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube Brett and I'm Illumina USA for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.